Hey, it's Chris with Never Enough Outdoors, and I recently put a deck on my John boat, but I forgot to leave room for the wires to come from the back of the boat under the deck to where my fish finder is, a few feet in front of it. So I found a solution. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, but I'm going to cut a hole in the deck, and I've got a little grommet I'm going to put in and make it pretty so I can run the wires and leave them here for the fish finder. I went to Lowe's yesterday to pick up some things. And while I was there, I asked if they had anything like uh, those little round grommet type things you put in your computer desks or on top of your desk to hide the power cord uh, to, to make the hole pretty. And they took me to that area. It's in the like where all the screws and nuts and bolts are section and it's in one of the drawers they have these they have all kinds of different things but what i picked out was this it's called a it's made by hillman it's called nylon hole plugs and i got black and i got the one inch size this is the biggest they had of the small things and it doesn't have a hole in the end it's just a plug but i'm gonna i'm gonna take this I have a ram mount right here. My fish finder sits in here and, and faces however I put it. But this is where it is. This is hard metal seat underneath this. But I put this deck on recently and I didn't think, oh, I need a place for my wires to go. And I thought, well, I could run them underneath the seat and pull them up. Then they'd be in the way where I'm standing or sitting or, or something. But I could find a way at first I thought I will hang them over here and that'll be nice but it's still laying here and doesn't look pretty so sorry I use the word pretty a lot I don't know why but I thought if I can make this work I can have them coming up right in here on the deck out of the way as far over here as I can get it and it still make it to my fish finder and and work out for me so that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to kind of cut an x in the carpet and see if i can peel it back and get to the wood and drill a one inch hole and stick my wires through and stick this thing i'm gonna have to cut a hole in this to get my wires through it but i'm gonna stick this thing back to make it look better so Go hang tight and let's go see what we can do. All right, I got a few different options here. Now I see I've got a screw here. So that's where my, I can't go here. I, this is a navigation light port that I'm not gonna use for lights. It's for a camera to hold a GoPro. So if I drill, let's see, I've got about an inch of seat here that I left behind for this and I'm gonna get as close as I can but I'm gonna drill about right in here kind of make it in line with this seat so I'm gonna take my knife and cut my carpet I know that sounds crazy try to cut through I'm just gonna push this back up underneath in the hole if I can when I get done I'm just drawing an X with my knife. So I feel like I'm cutting wood. The carpet's actually gonna keep it a little tighter when I put this grommet on here. Hopefully. This glue is really held up good. This is hard to do. Shows you how strong that glue is. All right, so that's about an inch out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole. All right, one inch hole in my deck. Now I have a big mess. So I have to vacuum up. I'm 
put it in the hole. Look at that. That is so nice. This one would fit perfect. So I don't know how accurate I can be with it. If I can drill a hole right in the middle of this thing, it might work. Cross our fingers. Oh man, that was perfect. All right, I'm gonna pull this back out. That was a perfect hole right in the center of that thing, like dead on. All right, so I'm gonna try to stick my wires up that hole. All right, here's my wires. Gotta put this one through first. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh man, that's perfect. Except for that zip tie is not gonna move. I'm gonna have to cut this zip tie off and put it back. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. I'll put another one on it when I get it this put together. All right, so that that's plenty long enough. Look at that. That's nice. So I've got another zip tie here. I'm gonna put it back on like I had it with plenty of room to have got my depth finder so that the wires don't sink back in there. Now I might would want them to go back in there when I'm not using it, but I don't see why in the world I would ever that would ever be a problem. I could see maybe wanting to fill this plug if I'm ever in the rain or something, but I would never would do that on my other boat, so I don't know why I would ever do it on this boat. See, that won't go back through there, that zip tie. I've got it doubled over like a lineman would do it in the phone company. I know because I was a lineman in the phone company. And now, those wires are never going to go back in there So I'm gonna always let this be here. If anything, I might just pull it back over in here. It's never gonna be at, yet an issue. There's always hooked up if I'm on the lake. So that's what you do. These are called, and they, they, they sell them all, I'm sure they sell them at boat stores, West Marine and Bass Pro, maybe even Academy, I don't know. But uh, all this is, is a Hillman brand nylon black plug, hole plug, one inch is what I use. You may need bigger, you may need smaller, but that's what I got and I knew it would work. And so there we go. I could put this thing in here with some glue if I wanted to, but um, I, I'm happy with it the way it is. I don't think it's gonna come out. And if it does, it's gonna be stuck around this wire. So it's not going anywhere. And those are only like, I think it was like a dollar 74. It's less than $2 for a two pack. Yeah, that was the idea I had. I just wanted to share it with you. That was what I was gonna do uh to make my wires look good and come out of the floor here so thanks for watching please check out my other videos there's two new videos i made with my john boat where i put the deck on i framed the front i framed the back i installed decking on the front deck on the back and i put a trolling motor on the front so check those videos out they'll be at the end of this video to click on and we'll see you next time thanks for watching